In part one of the California Zephyr, we departed from Sacramento to trace the transcontinental railroad in reverse. We climbed into the Sierra Nevada mountains, learning how the Central Pacific Railroad depended on Chinese work crews to build this end of the line. We passed beautiful but tragic Donner Lake and emerged into much drier Nevada, following the Truckee River. We saw day turn to night in the Nevada desert. We awoke to some of the most spectacular scenery in America. They give this country the name Ruby Canyon for the deep red color of the rock. This is one place we're grateful to be on a train. Amtrak takes us through this red rock canyon country following the California Zephyr route on the former Rio Grande Railroad, a true mountain railroad if ever there was one. We see a fantasy landscape here of palaces and sculptures made of stone. A fantasy landscape, only it's real, and we can take it all in without having to watch the road. It's like being in Disneyland. Yep, yeah, only it's real. Sometimes it's very quiet on the train, and you can just look out the window and watch the scenery go by. We follow the Colorado River to Glenwood Springs, about to enter more breathtaking landscape. Pulling out of Glenwood Springs at mid-afternoon, we're headed to Glenwood Canyon, where a landslide in 2007 left passengers stranded for several hours. Here across the river is Interstate 70, reminding me how lucky I am to be on a train. And here we enter the magnificent Glenwood Canyon. These great views are from the dining car. You can hear my wife talking to fellow passengers. Uh, we came uh, a couple of years ago at this time of year. Now we got off at Glenwood Springs. Oh. And kind of just were tourists around Glenwood Springs. How far are you going? Washington, D.C. The train stopped here while we kept eating. Outside the train, we watch this magpie. It was noticeably more quiet when we went back to our roomette and enjoyed this view of the Colorado. At this elevation, you can see ice forming on the edges of the river. One of my favorite views is of the train itself. The higher we rose in elevation, the more ice we saw in the river. These are the Rocky Mountains. This ski resort led right into the mouth of the huge Moffat Tunnel. On the other side of that six-mile tunnel, there were more mountains. We joined other passengers in the viewing car for this scene. Suddenly, we're looking down at the edge of the Great Plains. Many people consider the California Zephyr the most scenic train in the United States. 
I say it's a toss-up with the Coast Starlight. As we pull into Denver, our second day on the California Zephyr is drawing to a close. We'll leave Denver in the dark, passing coal trains through the night. Rolling into Denver.